Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Retief tonight. Well, I found something a little bit of a strange one, um, all the way from America. And of course, um, it's the Fighting Cock um, Kentucky Bourbon. Of course, there's no way that I can walk past a bottle like this with a name like that um, without being curious. Um, why on the earth would you name something like that? So curiosity took over. So I had to get a sample of this one. Um, for, of course, from my online store here in Belgium. Um, quite a cheap one as well. It paid four euro fifty for fifty centiliters. So I was um, quite happy to pick this one up to see what it's all about. Um, I know. Um, a lot of uh, my American watches are going to laugh at me for actually trying this one. Um, uh, it is um, not very expensive, but also, of course, um, coming to, to Belgium, I think the price differences are quite high. And I did a little bit of a research on that one before uh, I did this review. So the, the fighting cock that I am trying is the six year old. It is bottled at an eye-watering 51.5% ABV, um, which translates to 103 proof. It is a Kentucky bourbon, and of course it's matured in um, American oak casks. The branding, of course, it's the uh, Heaven Hills um, distillery. And um, of course, the name for me was the it was definitely the one that I had to pick up and and to try it uh, before I buy it. Also a little bit on the maturation. We have a 75% corn, we have a 13% rye, and then they also have a 12% um, malted barley um, maize pill. Um, not sure how that translates into the taste. Like I said, quite a newbie on the, on the American bourbons, but I do like to try something different, not always just the, the whiskies the, without the ease. Um, so um, every now and again, I like to try um, something different. I did try the uh, Wild Turkey 101, and from what I understood, it's a little bit of a competition between the Wild Turkey 101 and, of course, the uh, Fighting Cock, uh, just like I'm a child, just like to say the fighting cock tonight, I'm going to try the fighting cock, six-year-old fighting cock, so quite an old cock, <laughs> if you think about it. So um, on this one, um, price-wise, now well, before I get to the price, I also know that they had an eight-year-old um, fighting cock, which I then also had a no age statement one, and um, I'm not sure if um, they, these are still available. But uh, yeah, at my online store, they only had uh, the six-year-old. So um, I'm not sure why they went from an uh, from eight-year-old to no age statement to a, uh, back to a, uh, to a six-year-old. Um, but anyway, um, I don't really care about that. So price-wise, um, this one, um, when I looked at my online store, a full bottle, although it is one liter that they are selling here, was 40 euros for a bottle. Now, when I looked online as well in the Americas um, to see what kind of uh, prices are they paying, and I was looking at 19, 20 dollars for a, um, uh, a 750 milliliter bottle. So that means we are paying quite a little bit of a premium on this one um, compared to what you're going to pay in the US for this one. But I expect that as well because, well, in Belgium, everything is bloody expensive, uh, high import duties. So, really nice um, on the nose. I do like it. It is something that I do like in a Scotch whiskey as well. I have a little bit of that sweet tooth. So I do like the sweetness of it. Uh, it's uh, a light uh, perfumey sweetness coming out for me. I get that vanilla notes, um, actually quite a big vanilla note coming out of that. And I get a hint of a cinnamon as well. So the alcohol, um, I was expecting a big hit of the alcohol. And um, 
actually it's just pleasant even if I do a little bit of a stirring and shaking of it I don't really get that high ABV so if you would have given me and tell me that what is the ABV I would suggest maybe 40-43% uh, ABV so quite mellow actually for that high ABV I also get a little bit of a chocolate note yeah quite quite interesting the caramel notes is definitely there as well I also get a little bit of a hint of an um, like an orange uh, peel oil you twist that orange uh, that's just a hint of that as well a little bit of a brown sugar note also coming out actually very very nice so that's something that I enjoy I I can smell this all day long so I do like the the simplicity of it um, it's not um, uh, overly complex for me um, I've been nosing it for quite a while now I did some nosing last night on it as well and it's not like you're gonna sit and eventually you're gonna find something else in it so those notes that, that I got at that just stayed at that and it's nothing that just added um, to the complexity of it but it is really nice on the nose for me so on the taste cheers now even on the high ABV um, on the taste as well it's it does not taste like 51.5% ABV if I look at the sum or most of the scotches if you buy something um, with something with 50 or 48 or 46 and higher you definitely get that alcohol heat immediately that warmth um, evaporating type of alcohol I don't get it on this one how they do it I really don't know but I do like it so you have a it's sweet I get that um, thick um, oily consistency on it um, then uh, that little bit of a spicy bite let me just try again yeah <clears throat> then I it is just a little bit of a spiciness and I think that's the high ABV just that heat of the a little bite um, that would tell you that it has got a little bit of a high ABV in it so really nice also um, what I get now let me just try again just to make sure now a little bit of that a little bit of an oak coming out but really nice it is definitely not an oaky one it is just that little bit of a oak that break down a little bit of the sweetness so I, I kind of enjoy this one I also get a little bit of a um, something like a dried banana but not the, the hard bananas that you that they make nowadays years ago um, in East London we had a, a shop um, that was selling this bananas but it's like a leathery banana so soft dried banana it reminds me a little bit of that and also that aftertaste I get that little bit of a vanilla note so if I look at the finish on it so we start with a nice sweetness that little bit of a, uh, a chocolate note for me but I also get a little bit of a buttery note, um, a little bit of a caramel note coming out. A lot like a Belgium chocolate, but they have this caramel pieces in it. So it's quite similar to that for me. A little bit of a spiciness as well. Um, and it's quite a short finish and it's over. Of course, you take another sip. And just one more. It, it is nice it is just a nice easy sipping easy drinking um, sweet um, bourbon that I kind of enjoy so I'm sure a lot of people are going to say you don't add water to it I'm going to add just a little bit of water um, just to see what the effect is going to be so I just I did bring some water so I'm just going to add a little bit of water 
maybe um, a teaspoon of water just to see what what the effect is going to be if you do add some water to this lovely one as it is i would not add water i do like it without it after adding the water i did it feels like um, a little bit more toned down normally it will make for me um, a little bit sweeter but i feel like the nice notes that were coming out of the higher abv for me was definitely much nicer also um it made it a little bit more soapy for me um i don't know how to to more describe it but it smells a little bit soapy less spicy oakiness on it as well um, on the taste still very drinkable but I do prefer it um, without the water it's a little less of the chocolate note for me a little less of the brown sugar note a little less of the caramel note for me a little bit of a creamy note also appearing for me it's quite quite interesting so yeah, I, I do like that, this one. So I think it is a good idea to do a little bit of a comparison since there's a little bit of a rivalry between the Fighting Cock and the uh, Wild Turkey 101. So I do have a little bit uh, left of my Wild Turkey 101. As you can see, quite a little bit of a dusty bottle. So I've had it quite a, a, some time already. And I must admit, it did change um, in the bottle. Uh, my first pour of this one was not um, that enjoyable. It was a little bit rough around the edges, but there's definitely a change of the time with a little bit of the oxidization. So the Wild Turkey 101, you're looking at a 50.5% um, ABV, ABV. And of course, the Fighting Cock is uh, a little bit higher at 51.5 ABV. So just standing up on the tail feathers of the, of the wild turkey, just to show you I'm a little, a little bit better. So I was quite interested to see if there's going to be a big difference in the nosing and the tasting. So I have the two glasses, a nice new pour. This is the Fighting Cock in the smaller glass, and I have the Wild Turkey 101. So for me, if I just look at the nosing it is um this one i do like that uh, vanilla notes coming out of the fighting cock and when i go to the wild turkey and it's very similar for me maybe my palate and my nose is not really um, tuned into bourbons but for me it's quite similar so the only difference that i do get on the wild turkey it feels a little bit more spicy for me. Um, the six-year-old fighting cock feels a little bit more mellowed down. This feels like the wild turkey for me feels like it's a little bit higher ABV. Don't get me wrong, I know it, but my nose is telling me something different. So on the wild turkey, I get a little bit of a nutty note coming out. I get that brown sugars, the caramels coming out. That is for me, that is also nice. The fighting cock. Hmm. Now, that's strange. Now, but uh, I, I do it a little bit of a side by side comparison. On the fighting cock, I do get a little bit of a buttered popcorn now, which I didn't um, get that previously quite interesting so not making the video long this is not a big comparison it is just which one do i like this one has got a little bit of an orange note coming out in the end i i do like the mellowness of the of the fighting cock so quite similar even color wise i think the wild turkey 101 is looks a little bit darker um, but very similar. If I have to pick one, let me just taste it. On the taste, definitely, this one feels a little bit, the fighting cock feels a little bit stronger. I don't know, maybe just because I know what, uh, which one is which. But to be honest, um, if I have to pick one, I will definitely go for the fighting cock. Mm. 
it feels a little bit more mellow for me. It feels a little bit more approachable with me. It feels a little bit sweeter for me. So of course it is a little bit more expensive than the wild turkey, um, about 10 euro difference. So, but in the end, I think if I have to buy another one, I'm not sure I will buy another one. It was just nice to try them. Um, if I have to pick one, I'm definitely picking the fighting cock, the six year old fighting cock. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. You've come this far. Um, maybe it's a good idea to also like and subscribe or don't like and subscribe, but subscribe and tell me what I can do different um, to earn your subscription in the future. So thank you very much and I see you next time. Cheers.